Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X for the PS2, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, your number one source for video game walkthroughs. Before we start making our trip over to the pier, why don't we head back into the town here? Just check out the townspeople, see what they have to say. You know what? Maybe they forgive me about that incident earlier, by the way. What do you want, heathen? Or maybe not. Oh my. Oof, Titus. Nobody likes you here. But that's okay. Because we're not going to be sticking around much longer. Hello there. At last, Lady Yuna has become a true summoner, like her father. She was so small when she first came to be said. Hmm. I was under the impression that she was born and raised here. But maybe perhaps it happened a different way. Maybe we'll find out. Hey! If you muck around here, the ship will leave without you. And the next boat won't be here for a while. Better hurry, yeah? Alright, calm down. Yeah. As you uh, may or may not have noticed, the locals like to say yeah a lot. So this is, this is Waka's pad, I guess you could say. Didn't really make a lot of comments about it earlier, but let's check this place out, you know? Okay, we got, uh, I guess the food stuff goes over here, you know, like pots and pans and various contraptions. Uh, this is a bed over here. I don't, some kind of table? Yeah? And I guess that's a couch over there. I can't really walk to it. Kind of a cool setup. Not a lot of privacy. Can we, can we close this somehow? Does that, can we pull this in, you know? Hmm. Yes. Very, uh, basic, primitive, simplistic here in Besaid, right? I wonder if the whole world of this, this place is just like this, you know? Very primitive, you know? Not a lot of technology, right? It's forbidden. We don't use, uh, Machina anymore. That old coot dropped what he was doing to go see the summoner off. Now I gotta do all his work, too. It's just not fair. Oh? What do you think about that, pooch? Woof! And yeah, it doesn't woof at me. That's a shame. Hmm. You should try praying. It worked for me. It'll work for you, too. We could head back to the temple if we want. I suppose we'll have to call our apprentice Lady Yuna now. Aru? Lady Yuna! Of course, there's really not much to do here. I'm pretty sure that there was originally an Albed Primer in one of the rooms. Looks like these guys are praying. Anyone else going to see us off, you know? Apparently I'm invited on this journey, at least for the moment. I'm heading out fishing, so I'm praying for a sinless ocean. Oh. Please guide Lady Eunice travels well. So who are all these people? There sure are a lot of them. And we got this big Lord Brosca statue here. <laughs> and then we got you. Perhaps your transgression shall be pardoned on account of the toxin. But just this once, follow the teachings, my son. Oh, he forgives me. He has to, he's obligated. You're going with Lady Yuna? Does that mean you're a guardian? Uh... If there's anything you need to know about guardians, ask Lulu. Lulu knows everything. She'll be a bigger help than Waka for sure. Yeah, we have a couple of questions where we can give multiple answers to. Usually, in that kind of situation, it leads to different things happening. Sometimes could be a big thing, sometimes could be a small thing. But it's a thing. Hmm. I don't think I've talked to you. Hey! You! Come back here! We have to talk. Most of the villagers went down to say farewell at the dock. Our summoner's leaving. Oh, I've never liked goodbyes. I've gotta talk to him. Don't you walk away from me. Hmm. Right, as you can see, the Crusaders have left. 
But the good news is, the cats are still here. Seriously, man, get these creatures out of here. Cats are shady, and they're born naturally evil. You know, as soon as you leave the house, you know what they do? They go behind the couch and shit. That's what they do. They go right behind the couch and shit. What do you want? Get out of my face. You come to see the cats too? All right, let's get out of here. We have to go. It's time to go. No more cats. No more be saved. Perhaps we'll return to be saved someday. As it might have some sort of value to us. You never know. Or maybe this is the last time we'll ever look upon this place. So, let's move on. Cats are evil. Okie dokie. So where's everybody? Okay, well, we got random battles here. Here comes one now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Piece of cake. I mean, didn't know how to do this before, but, you know. No problem. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flyer! My kind of customer. Alright. Get him, Waka! Okay, so... As you can see, we're gonna have a couple of battle situations here. You know, we're just starting off our journey. So now's the time to learn things, and we're kind of, we're going to have a couple of tutorials here. We got a couple of new characters we haven't really even talked about yet. That looks like trouble. Ha! Watch this! Alright, Titus, show us your moves. Told ya, only magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Luke, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Elements. Magic and fiends have properties called elements. There are four elements, fire, ice, lightning, and water. Fire and ice are opposed as are lightning and water. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Which means we'll use thunder. I never really liked that they called it thunder. I preferred lightning. Back in the day, they called it lightning. Anyway, this is Lulu, our black mage, voiced by Paula Tiso. And, well, she does okay. I don't particularly like her. I don't hate her. Take your time. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? <laughs> What's going on? It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. That should do it. I just feel like, you know, what's this praying stuff? This isn't really Titus's thing, you know? 
And I always feel you shouldn't be like forced into doing that just because it's what others believe. You gotta stay true to your own, man. It's not impolite, I feel. So I'm not gonna pray. Anyway, got our safe sphere here. I've always hated this area, this small little map area, because, okay, what is this? This isn't the way to the pier. Yeah, it's a path to nowhere. You know where it used to go? It used to go to that water that Titus and Waka swam through, and we wound up here, then we went down to uh, Besaid. That's where that leads back to, but I mean, there's no point to it ever again. Ever again! I just don't understand why they even had uh, the path there. Oh, well. Oh my, look at this crazy stuff. It's a funny looking area. Hey, what's this? Little thingy there. Okay, so what is this thing's deal? We encountered him inside the temple. He was standing around Yuna, but what's his deal? Still don't really figure this guy out. He's kind of aggressive. And a little grumps, man. He's very grumpy. He's picking a fight with our character Titus. What's he doing? Oh, shit. Come on, man. Dish it out. Doing that jump move. See that spear? It looks like he's the lancer of the uh, Final Fantasy game in this one. That's enough. Uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardians. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. Ah, yes, the stone-cold personality, but with the heart of gold. That's Kamari Ronso. And we'll learn about him. Not much to say about him right now. He doesn't talk a lot, like Yuna said. But I'm sure he'll have something to say soon enough. Anyway, what do we got here? More walkage. I'd rather go the way we came the first time around. Let's get back in that water. This way is the long way. Another battle! Is it forced? You betcha. A flyer. That's your department, right? True, true. But, uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Switching members during battle. Press L1 during battle to switch in a character not currently being used. Just switch them in, and they'll be ready to go. All right, good stuff. And this is pretty new. When Final Fantasy did this, the uh, switching in and out party members, uh, they didn't do that before. Not really too much, so this is pretty interesting. I actually kind of liked it. Your first real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. Summoning Aeons. Use the summon command to have Yuna call an Aeon to aid her in battle. Only Yuna can summon Aeons. Use it when you need help against tough opponents. When Aeons take damage, their HP decreases. Should their HP reach zero, they will leave battle and become unavailable for a time. Aeons recover HP at save spheres. Okay, good stuff. So yeah, Yuna, she's the white mage, I guess you could say, but most of all, summoner. Alright, good stuff. So here's our first summon. Yeah, I gotta say, honestly, my my opinion of Yuna 
at least uh, in battle, she's, I'm not going to say useless, but you don't really use her that much. You don't have to use her. I mean, like, uh, like the thing said, you know, when we have uh, hard enemies, you know, then would be the time to summon it, but most of the time she's kind of normal enemies. You just get by without her. Sometimes you have to swap her in to do some healing and stuff. So you can see our Aeons can also do magic. And they got like special moves like the Sonic Wings as you can see. Or I could just do like normal attack like this. Booka! Right in the head. It's kind of a back and forth thing. Look at this shit. Of course you can see the info HP on the enemy right there. <laughs> There you go. Oh, it's a miss. So you can see I have that gauge, even for the Aeons. And it actually even fills up if my uh, enemy missed. It actually missed uh, a turn ago. You may not have caught it, but my bar increased nonetheless. All right, this thing. This thing's taking a beating. Come on, we might fill that bar up all the way. Good stuff. We got an overdrive. And this is Energy Ray. So yeah, this is Yuna, voiced by Hetty Burris. I think uh, the voice fits the character. And I think she did a good job. Sometimes, you know, like I discussed, it's just the way actors read the lines. Sometimes she kind of reads the lines very dull. And I'd like to point that out, that Politiso did that as well. Sometimes just the, the way she reads lines. Of course, you know, it's tricky in this kind of game with the whole, you know, matching the mouths type thing, but it's not like they did great on that anyway. Anyway. We're done. There's just so much you can do. And even though, you know, the voice work has been done, it was kind of new for its time still. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night, Birdie. All right, so we don't have to use Yuna. Looks like they want me to use the skill Dark Attack. This is a pretty good attack for uh, battling here. Inflicts darkness on an enemy for three turns. Doesn't always work. Sometimes it makes contact. You can pretty much tell with that black smoke in front of its face. So right now it's kind of blind and it'll pretty much miss me when it attacks. But, like I said, three turns. Of course, we can use our magics here. There you go. So now we're gonna swap out Yuna for Titus. Put in Titus. Now this thing's blind. I can hit it. Sometimes, certain enemies, you'll miss. You know, that's why you have to use certain characters. As Waka was saying, you know, it's a flyer, my kind of customer. So Waka always put him in for the uh, bird-type enemies. Now, Lulu can pretty much uh, attack anything. Doesn't mean she's going to always be effective. But yeah, sometimes too big of an enemy, Titus is just not really equipped for it. If they're small, nimble, kind of like fast enemies, Titus, that's pretty much him. Kamari's really not with us right now, but Kamari's kind of like a... Uh, an all-over kind of kind of fighter. He can get pretty much uh, most of the enemy types, small or large. Sometimes there's missing. Sometimes there's missing. There you go. All my characters received like EXP there because they were all in battle, and we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that too. Oh man. All right, what do we got? We got a mixture. So yeah, basically here's the setup. I already have my three characters in here. The small nimble enemy, the enemy that needs magic, and the flyer, so three for three right here. But I was gonna talk about my uh, crazy RPG OCD. You know what I mean by that? I like all my characters to remain at the same level. So seriously, when I play this game just for me, I would just swap in and out characters who are like inert and I don't even need to use them, only to switch them out again like that so they receive the EXP for the battle. 
I am not shitting. Oh, I used fire. That's... Well, it hits. You see, you have to use the opposite element. Otherwise, you know, it's really no go. I'll show you an example there. Yeah, you see? Not really effective, so you have to... You have to leave that one to loot. Thank you, Waka. Well, what do you want me to just, like, wait? Mm. This is gonna take a while. I'll handle it. Step aside. Well, if you could have gone next, that would have been great, sweetie, but you didn't give me that opportunity, did ya? Alright? Damn! There you go. As you can see, Lulu is carrying a stuffed Moogle doll. That's, uh, in a way, her weapon. She doesn't really do anything with it. Sometimes, uh, well, we could attack. Really, Lulu's attack is practically useless. Like, I'm trying to think. Was there ever a time in all the times I played this game where... Or is necessary? It depends. It depends on what kind of weapon Lulu has, I suppose. And we can talk about that later. But we got time. Alright, where, where am I? What is this? What is this thing? Ugh. Coming down the path here. I think we're getting close. Here's everybody, and we're playing the sad music because we're leaving. But it's okay because we got friends to see us off. I knew this time would come someday. I knew. Please watch over Lady Yuna. Here, have this. You may find use for it. May Yevon's blessings be with our summoner on her pilgrimage. Here. A gift from the temple. Try and talk to a couple of the other people. I won't cry. I won't, yeah? have this map on our voyage here that marks where we've been, where we're going. So for Besay to Kilika. So looking at someone through binoculars earns you a, a friendly smile and wave. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't know who you are or where you came from. If you interfere with Yuna's pilgrimage, we won't take it lightly. Okay, wow. That's Lulu. 
Looks like she doesn't really know me yet. Doesn't really care for me much either. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luca. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? Well, I can't really think of a better plan, I suppose. Hmm. Yuna seems a little swamped right now, God. Anyway, let's check out the rest of this boat. Alright, we got stuff over here. The captain must be here. Alright, good stuff. Oh, what a great day. The breeze must feel wonderful. Wanna man the helm? <laughs> yeah, right. Just kidding. We'll arrive in Kilika before nightfall. Go on, take a nap or something. The SS Leaky is funded by Evan. That's good stuff. What's up here? Eh, no one. There's seagulls everywhere! Where's the guy whose binoculars we stole? Where did he go? <laughs> He's probably checking out Yuna too. Alright, we, uh, we can go below deck. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, them fascinating clothes you're wearing. Yeah! Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me names, not Awaka. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so this is Awaka the 23rd, and he's going to be one of the many smaller characters we come in contact with on our journey, who has uh, reoccurring appearances, basically. But someday, the name Awaka will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Awaka's a bum. He wants money. But maybe we should lend him some. Perhaps someday he'll help us. All right, how much gill? How much gill? Good God. First of all, I don't even have a lot of gill because I didn't do a lot of fighting before I left that island. So, uh, I'll give you 300. How about that? You really gonna lend me 300 gill? I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. Much obliged, lad. I'll be sure to pay you back. Oh, you better be paying me back. Yeah, Waka has that accent. Don't know why, but here's the Crusaders. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. There's actually a room over here, the power room. What the heck is that? What, what the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Hmm. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. <laughs> yeah, so this ship is kind of powered by big birds. Chocobos! Titus has never seen a chocobo. Come on, Titus, this is Final Fantasy. These things are everywhere. Excuse me. Do you have anything else to say? Uh... La, 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 la. Seriously. Just kind of like stay away from the summoner. At least to me, this is another one of those weird lines. 
And you don't even see the text on the screen, by the way. You know, maybe I, I have never known in the in the Japanese version. Does she sing too? I don't know. I'll, I don't think uh, I didn't think I would ever know, but I'm sure someone out there has got to have the answer to this question. <laughs> and like, was it was it that actual like hum? Like, you know, it, is it the same type of humming, or is this just pulled out of our ass? I don't know. Oh man. Okay, let's get out of here. Titus. Owaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Hmm. We got crazy shit in here. And there's another room. It's kind of hard to locate, but yeah. Looks like our, uh, our team's in here. A couple of members. <laughs> what is he doing back there? Guy, what's going on in here? Ugh. I've gotten seasick. I think I'm gonna hurl. Ugh. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, we got a chest here. There you go. Now, this guy's hiding back here. He seems really sick, yeah? I'm hiding over here, because I'm going to get sick too if I keep watching him. Alright, well, good luck with that. There's actually uh, an Albed Primer aboard uh, the ship somewhere, but, you know, like I said, I've pretty much found most of them, so... They'll just appear, you know, like it was never here. What's this? We got a suitcase or some sort. And we can kick the suitcase. Yes, we can kick a suitcase. We're on a boat, powered by chocobos, kicking luggage. This is awesome. What is the point of this? Well, who knows? Maybe we'll find out. All right. Waka. Going back upstairs, man. <laughs> oh. I think Titus said it best. Oddities. Becoming routine. Head back to the main part of the ship. All right, everybody. Well, Yuna seems to be swamped still, but, you know, we'll have to get in there and talk to her. Right, Titus? But you know what, guys? I think I'm going to call it a wrap right here. I want to thank you for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. And stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X. I will see you guys next time. I am out.